Well, good afternoon, and thank you to Leader McCarthy, Whip Scalise, Chairwoman Stefanik for having me here today. You can probably pick up that my voice is a little froggy today. It's because I've been screaming from the rooftops about how bad this bill is. Much of what my colleagues have said has focused on the heaping pile of hot garbage that this reconciliation bill is. You can call it a number of things, build back broke, build back BS, Biden's bankruptcy blueprint, Bernie's budget bailout, but it doesn't matter what you call it because it is still absolute crap. It's simple. If you put garbage in, you're gonna get garbage out. And that is exactly what the Democrats have done. Not to mention that not one of them have read the bill. But more than anything, few people have mentioned how selfish this bill is, how completely and utterly self-absorbed it is and the people who are behind it. We know that good leaders put others before themselves. Parents put children before themselves. It's what decent people do. It's what people who care about future generations and those in their care do. We do what is best for others, not what is best for ourselves or our political party. But this concept is completely lost on our colleagues. The Democrats have desperately needed a political win. They know that Americans today are making hard decisions, whether to fill up their cars or put food on the table. Seniors on fixed incomes are worried if they have enough to make it through to the end of the month. Inflation is killing the American people and the American dream, crushing us under the weight of the reckless government spending from this administration and the Democrat-controlled Congress. We know it, and they know it. The administration knows it, but instead they are so desperate for a win that they are putting politics over people. They are putting politics before the future of this nation. To my fellow millennials and Gen Zers, meet reconciliation, the American dream killer. As you are wrapping up school, you're beginning your careers, you're starting businesses and starting families, the Build Back Broke agenda is killing your American dream. It's saddling you with debt, higher taxes, regulations, and endless social programs that we do not need. This bill is downright selfish. It is the height of greed. It is what the American people have come to expect, however, from Speaker Pelosi and our Democrat colleagues. If there is one thing that you should take away from this here today, it is that the Democrats' selfishness are making you pay more at the pump. It is their selfishness that is making this Thanksgiving the most expensive in American history. It is the Democrats' selfishness and their ability to put politics over people that is strangling Americans, sending American jobs overseas, and garnishing the wages of our children and our grandchildren. But it is that same selfishness that is gonna win us back the house in 22. My colleagues and I are ready to fix this mess that this administration has created, and it begins by defeating this bill. And with that, I'd like to welcome my friend and colleague from the great state of Texas, August Pfluger.